The inferior vena cava, or IVC, is an important structure to be able to reliably identify and evaluate due to its utility in the overall assessment of volume status and fluid tolerance. We'll address the technique for measuring the IVC and calculating the IVC collapsibility index, as well as how to interpret these measurements appropriately in other videos. In this video, we'll focus on reliably identifying the IVC with ultrasound, as it is often understandably confused with its nearby arterial counterpart in the abdomen, the aorta. The images you see here are obtained by placing a probe, which is typically either a phased array probe or curvilinear probe, on the abdomen in the epigastric area close to the midline and oriented in the sagittal plane, with the probe marker aimed towards the patient's head. Fanning left and right, you should be able to identify two distinct linear anechoic structures representing the aorta, which will typically be just to the left of the midline, and the IVC, which will be just to the right. Several visual cues can be used to differentiate these two vessels aside from their relative locations. Notice that the aorta has a fairly sharp posterior to anterior angle as it runs from the thorax down through the upper abdomen, whereas the IVC typically takes a flatter trajectory, although keep in mind that these angles will appear differently depending on the orientation of your probe in relation to the patient. A more definitive marker is the presence of branches or tributaries. The aorta has several anterior branches that take off just caudal to the liver, of which the celiac trunk and SMA are visualized here. The IVC, on the other hand, has a single large tributary in this area, which is the common hepatic vein, seen here draining from the liver into the IVC just before the IVC enters the right atrium. And finally, notice that you can clearly see the IVC emptying into the RA here, whereas the aorta can be seen diving posterior to the mediastinum, but does not actually connect with any of the chambers of the heart, as its connection to the LV is actually located on the other side of the heart. As a final note, keep in mind that both the aorta and the IVC can often be seen pulsating, and that this is not a reliable marker that can be used to differentiate the two vessels.